found a bug and worried that it's a termite? For a homeowner, this can be rather scary. And for good reason. And depending upon where you live, termites are a real possibility. They can be found almost everywhere. In this video, you'll be introduced to the two most common termite specimens, and you'll also learn what to look for to ID a termite. And be sure to watch to the end because I have an extra fun bonus fact in there. Disclaimer. I have to say this. Please. This video should not be used in lieu of seeking professional termite services from licensed and trained pest control technicians in your area. Now, on to the fun stuff. There are over 40,000 identified species of termites, and the good news is we only have to worry about 12 of those in populated areas. And there are two main types of termites, subterranean termites and drywood termites. Termites are often confused and misidentified with ants. But when you know what to look for, they are very different. Let's start by examining the specimen you found. Does it have wings? If it does, take a look at the length of the wings when compared to the body. Are the wings longer than the body of the specimen, or both? If it is, then it may look something like this. Now yours might be a different color, but does it resemble this? These are alates, commonly referred to as swarmers. Alates also have two equal wings per side, and both of those wings are longer than the body. If the wings are not equal and longer than the body, then the chances are you're not looking at a termite. This physical feature is actually part of the scientific name in the animal kingdom. The scientific name for termite is Isoptera, which is derived from Latin Iso meaning equal, terra meaning wing, equal wing. Now does the specimen have straight antenna? This is also very unique to a termite. Take a look at the antenna. Are they straight? All termites have straight antenna. If the antenna are not straight but have like an elbow in them, then you're not looking at a termite. Actually, it's most likely an ant. Ants have elbowed antennas. There's another physical feature to look at. They have two distinct body parts, the head and the body. If your specimen does not have wings, does it have pinchers at the mouth? If yes, it may look something like this. Again, yours may vary in color, but it may resemble that. If yes, these are soldiers. Fact, these pinchers are called mandibles. They also have two distinct body parts. They have straight antenna, their mandibles, and again, head and the body. Two distinct body parts. Most common specimens you will find are gonna be your swarmers, and soldiers. It is possible to come across a worker termite, but that is very hard to ID. 
If you have only found wings or your specimen looks like one or more of these two, then it's time to call a pest control company. Do you think ants look like termites? Here we have an ant. Here we have a termite. Can you see the two separately? It's two different bugs. You might be wondering, how will I ever find out what type of termite I have if they're only wings that I found? Species of termites can be identified by the wings alone, but this requires careful examination under a microscope by experienced trained professionals. This is why it's important for you to call a professional pest control company in your area if you only have wings. Tip. Avoid using tape when you're collecting specimens. I know I'm missing convenient, but please. Often the specimens get torn apart when they try and open up the tape to examine the specimen further, and it makes identification more difficult. Instead, collect the wings and specimens in a resealable bag for the pest control company. To recap, termites have two distinct body parts, two equal sized wings that are longer than the body, and two straight antenna. Bonus fact. I told you, here it is. The closest insect that is related to a termite, believe it or not, most people don't know this, is a cockroach. Yes, that's right a cockroach. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe to the channel.